Yeah, the ring. Oop. Burning a hole in my pocket. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you in um Venice's 40 minutes or so. I'm just waiting for my ride. Did you ride. say you're going to Venice? Did you say you're going to Venice? Hi, I have a dog stuck in my apartment over there. Really needs a walk really badly. And uh, my phone's dead. Can't get over there. Do you want to split a ride together? got that many texts, you know, my dad died. <laughs> you know, he, he died. Yeah, I hate bad news through texts. That's why I tell my doctor, at least, <laughs> you know. Um, sorry about your dad, but oh, no. I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Well, not that he died, but, um, you know, no, it was just like a really long time ago, so it just like doesn't matter as much to me. The, those aren't about your dad. My dad is alive and well. So is my mom. Good. I mean, it's great, really, because, you know, I would really just like one, one parent to be alive. Hey, y'all want some uh, water or? I'm good. Actually, the, uh, the texts are from my friends who are helping me with my proposal that is happening tonight. Well, shit. Good luck with that. It's really great. Excuse me? It's a miracle we found each other. What does that mean? Found each other? It's not like you guys are hunting for deer or something. It's more like you guys maybe stumbled across each other and then you're like, oh, he or she will do, you know? in comparison to previous notions or experiences that you had that didn't make you happy. Cause like maybe this person makes you happy? Is that what? No, no, it's just, we're, we're not, we're not settling. Oh. You know, I'm all in for this girl. Mind, body, and soul. Sounds like you got it all figured out. Proposed tonight, get married in a year, buy a house, Kids, retire, travel the world. Death. We're all here with this unknown expiration date, right? So if we don't think of the inevitability of death, then like you'll make dumb decisions like leasing a car or getting married. Look, I didn't want to get married too. Liar! You're a freaking liar! Look at look at your clothes. Look at that, look at that crew cut. I mean, come on. I mean, it's like sending a signal to all women, like, hey, look, it's safe here. I won't ever leave you, because if I do, I won't know what to do with myself. Those clothes were on sale. Yeah, uh, just so you guys know, I'm taking the limpet down, because Lieutenant is slammed. Sure. You know, we're complete strangers, and you're getting riled up about my engagement. She hasn't said yes yet. Damned. Are you okay? I'm... Dandy! I'm going to Europe in a few weeks. What's in Europe? Tons of, of hella shit. Like, you know, food, pasta, monuments, cool ass art, towers. Towers. Are you visiting family or friends? I'm exploring the continent. Is there a guy there? No. There's not a guy there. Why does there always have to be a guy somewhere? Uh -huh. I mean, look outside, okay? This is all the reason I need. Look outside. Look at it. It's shit here. It is shit here. Uh -huh. Everyone's driving. There's little cars. No one's walking around the street saying hi to anybody. You can't get a kiss on the cheek to save your life because everyone's out for the freaking sales and their brand. I'm actually a brand manager, and I think how you portray yourself is very important to customer loyalty. So let's just sit quietly. Okay, so since you want to know so bad, I just broke up with my boyfriend of seven years. 
When? Uh, right before I got in the car. At the Grove? Yes, he lives across the street. You just tarnished an L.A. landmark for that guy. What do you do? Nothing. Nothing. It's not his fault that I can't date him because he sucks. Did he cheat on you? No. Is he lazy? No, he works 70 hours a week. Ah, he works too much. No quality time? No, he's he has plenty of quality time, okay? He rubs my feet. He does my dishes. He makes me dinner. Plans us trips to waterfalls, you know. Sounds like a piece of shit. Right? Yeah. It's totally a piece of shit. Like, it's not real. None of it's real. Like, I can't live up to any of that. Like, that's a lot of pressure on my uterus. Maybe he was going to propose to you and you felt that, so you broke up with him. But maybe, Maybe he was going to propose because he felt trapped in an emotional corner. And proposing seemed like the next logical step or he'd look crazy to all his friends and family. I don't know, I think it's been like seven years and he was gonna propose. I would have known that, like, I would have, I would have known that, like. You think he's gonna propose? His mom and dad aren't getting any younger and he wants them at the wedding with all the scruples. Well, you know, he was raised by his grandfather and grandmother, and they are getting older just, you know, because that's what happens to everyone in the world, you know? And maybe this engagement ring he had in his back pocket is the Hail Mary. Because you guys have broken up multiple times in the past, and uh, you did go out there and found nobody. Now he sees you as his only hope. Oh, well, you know, I don't think he was going to propose or had an engagement ring in his back pocket because he was sitting down, and he, if he did have it, he would have smashed it with his big ass. I'm an ass girl. Maybe he's accepted the fact that after five years together, sex once every couple months is fine. Oh, no, we had sex all the time, me and him. Just really at it like rabbits. Just like, oh yeah, even thrice on Mondays because it was like my hump day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Maybe I don't really need to have kids. Mm. No, it's not like I dreamed of being a father my whole life. But I love, I love Jen and, and she's worth it. Should I be proposing to Jen? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you just said you were like really good, like 100%, all that shit, like a minute ago. Like, I think we should go back to me. And I she's think we cheating go back on me. It's her coworker. It's always the coworker. You know, I invited that guy to my recreation basketball team. We have a waiting list, but I got him in for her. You know, okay. Well, I don't know anything about your recreational basketball team. Why'd you bring all this shit up? Wow, wow, that makes so much sense. I mean, you always bring it up, and um, the breakup with Amazing Noel, and mm -hmm. now the bucket list trip to I'm Europe. I'm not freaking dying, okay? I'm not freaking dying. You make me sound like a dang cliche. I mean, come on, give me a little credit here, come on. Oh, I'm sorry, it just made so much sense with your whole story, mm -hmm. and you kind of have had a great life with the guy. Yeah, listen, okay, this isn't some whack rom-com where some girl saves you from your horrible relationship, you know, and not to mention the girl you meet is it's dying, right, and saves you five minutes before you propose. It just isn't this. I don't know why you thought I was going there. Damn, that would be dope. That would be dope. It would be even time to be like, hey, driver, step on it. I got to marry this brand manager. I would do it. <laughs> you would? <laughs> Damn, strangers are tight. Here we are. Seriously? If all it takes is a perfect stranger to make you question your proposal, then I feel like you have some reevaluating to do. Says the perfect stranger who is in this car, being driven by another perfect stranger who you met because of your phone. All of our parents and best friends are there. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you want to do?
I need to go in. You gotta get to your dog. Um, I don't have one. Kind of just made it up. I just wanted to get away. What's your name? It doesn't matter. What if this is their rom-com? What? Look, it's none of my business, but... If all it takes is a stranger in the car to make you question your breakup... Maybe you have some reevaluating to do. Okay, take me back. I'll step on it. Oh, shit. shit. 